love that you all were in Southwest Virginia and those coverage on that visit. It's one of my favorite parts of the state where I grew up and, and the vigorous outreach to help in spur business development out there is very, very exciting. The, the thing I wanted to add is, you know, the Commonwealth's uh, commitment to support, to increase tech talent. We've been talking about the graduate work that the Commonwealth is supporting uh, primarily through expanding programs at tech and, and Mason, but we should be clear that the Commonwealth's financial commitment is also to expanding computer science and closely related degree programs in, um, in the bachelor's level, and that work is gonna be spread out all across the Commonwealth. So universities, the public universities all across uh, Virginia were invited to participate in um, the Commonwealth's plans on that, and I think we're all expecting an announcement from the governor with some of the final details on that, but I'm sure there will be universities all across the Commonwealth uh, participating in the enhanced bachelor's programs. Uh, of, as part of the tech talent funded, thank you very much by the General Assembly. Yeah, actually, that that piece of the tech talent uh, investment program is bigger than the contribution up in Northern Virginia, uh, and we're excited about that. And one of the things that I think is um, uh, I, I think about a lot is that we've got um, a concentration of talent up here and in other parts of the Commonwealth, but we have sources of talent distributed all over, and modern companies are gonna to wanna to co-locate at concentrations and at sources. And we're seeing that a lot of the expansion of companies that are affiliated with Virginia Tech is happening in a, in a binary sort of way. They grow here in Northern Virginia, and they also grow in Blacksburg, for example. And the other part that I, I just will add to this is that We've got uh, 11 agricultural research and experiment stations around the, the Commonwealth, and we're starting to put together what, uh, what we call Smart Farm Innovation Network. And the only way that's going to work is to have broadband everywhere to bring the best technology everywhere in the Commonwealth where we have agricultural and forestry uh, parts of our economy that generate, what, $90 billion a year for the, for the Commonwealth. So there's a, the economy is much more diverse than you see up here, uh, and there's a chance to leverage it.